Hello everybody. Uh, this would be the test for this restored Iowa 3500. It's a nice deck. I believe it's beginning of 1980s, considering the switches, positions and everything around it. Maybe like 1981, 1982. So it's a three head deck and it has a DX combination head system. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what does it mean. Probably I need to find a flyer. This uh, deck don't have enough information in the service manual, so I had to search a little bit. The board has all elements not marked, uh, but uh, finally this deck is running. Let's uh, check uh, how this deck plays. I'm installed at the Blues Company, uh, which has been recorded on Sony. Sony should be pretty well compatible with the Naiva. So enjoy the sound. Okay, it plays nice, really nice. Uh, lots of high frequencies, all in range, linear. The only thing I would wish a little bit more bass, but it's not a high-end model, so not much to, to wish actually. So and here I am installing normal tape, switching to normal. We will be recording today disc of Bob James David Sandburn. Okay, and I will name it Double Vision. Okay, let's start recording. We're recording it. You can hear his. Let's see how it will record.
Okay, as you may hear, it does a good recording with uh, Dolby, without Dolby, uh, lots of high frequencies, I like it. Okay, now, let's see, chrome tape, I will be switching the next song, recording. All right. Okay, I believe this would be enough for this tape type. Uh, technically, it records really well, so there is no difference between source and tape. And I believe it's like replace all capacitors. It may perform a little bit better, but not too much, I believe. So next, metal tape. Metal tape. Okay, 
So on my mind, this deck plays well. Uh, this frequency uh, we can adjust like using equalizer or like bus on the amplifier. And this will uh, play really well for its age. It performs super. All right. So I believe this would be it for tonight. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, learn something new. See you on my next videos. Bye-bye.